somebody said, should I get Aklot? And I forget if they were, I think they said Aklot tenor. This, of course, is a soprano. Just add five inches to the height, and then you'll have the Aklot tenor. He said, should I get the Aklot tenor or the Inya Nova U travel ukulele? Now, what I said was, basically, if this is your first ukulele, get the Aklot tenor. If this is your fifth, sixth, seventh, or 74th ukulele, get the Inya travel ukulele. Then the reason I said that, I guess the main reason I said that, is because this ukulele, it's, it's hard to know where the frets are. For one thing, that is the very most essential reason I would say that. There are no side fret markers here and you can't even hardly see the frets. Now maybe young people pick those out easily, but this is what you would expect. So it just seems to me that if somebody is starting out with ukulele, their first several anyway, should probably look something like this rather than this. And that's a, another reason why I don't really recommend the Kamis Tiger Flame as a first ukulele because it's, it's got fancy stuff on it. It's got a guitar style headstock. It's just a little strange. Get something that looks like a ukulele. You don't have to question it. You don't have to explain it. You don't have to do anything except play it and learn how to play. Keep your focus on that. But then, this one is a marvelous and wonderful ukulele. So, there. If uh, you want to know which one to get, that is my opinion. And I would also reiterate what I've said dozens of times. Determine the size that's right for you first. And with this ukulele, it comes in soprano, concert, and tenor, which are the ukuleles you probably should be considering anyhow if this is your first or second ukulele. And uh, <laughs> they are the complete package as well. One thing that this has going for it that this one doesn't, well, a couple of things. One is that it's almost indestructible compared to this. I mean, if you sat on this ukulele, you would regret it really quickly. It's not, it's not um, delicate by any way, shape, or form. It's not delicate as all solid ukuleles frequently are. But you could damage this ukulele. This one, much sturdier, made out of carbon fiber, whatever that is, some hard, hard plastic. So this one is almost indestructible, or it gives you that opinion, uh, feeling, and it also uh, is impervious to changes in weather. This one is not really, and at least from what I've seen with all the ones I have, I have had, received no weather damage on my ukuleles yet, but uh, all, all ukuleles that are made out of wood probably could be uh, affected by weather. So, other thing, this one will sound, at least in my opinion, better than the Aklot tenor because of the strings that are on it. Stay on power, please. <clears throat> Maybe that was uh, heaven telling me that I just told a lie. I don't know. But uh, I th this sounds really, really good. If you put the same strings on the Aklot, it's possible it could sound equally as well.
But this, uh, for me, this is the total package, and I can't really separate the strings from the rest of the ukulele. It may be that there's some little uh, amplifier inside this throwing the sound out so nicely. I don't know. It may be these three little swish marks. So I'm not really tempted to take my Aklot tenor and put in your strings on it, uh, though you might be at some point. So those are my opinions about which to get. And you won't go wrong with either one of them, uh, the Aklot Mahogany or the Inya Travel Ukulele. They are wonderful, marvelous instruments. I love them both, and I've finally uh, completed my Aklot collection. And I'm very happy to have this little soprano. I am thrilled to have this little soprano. I was noticing the other day, yesterday, that you could actually buy four of these for under $40 each on eBay. How on earth is this possible? You can buy these for less than $40 each, free shipping, on eBay if you buy four. So if you have a family <laughs> and you want to get into ukulele the right way, that would be a good way to start, I think. Merry Christmas. It's coming up, you know. Thanks for watching.